Yashahime News. On September 11th, we saw the Sunrise Music Festival livestream. They said that Sota will play a big role in Yashahime and that they wanted to create something that the fans that grew up with Inuyasha and that have now became adults can enjoy. I did make the post about it, so you may have already seen what I said about it when the Sunrise Music Festival happened on September 11th. I will just say that my wife was not very happy about me staring at a screen for four hours, but hey, we also got to see Toa's voice actor. All she really said was the synopsis, but still, fun. I think I completely dissociated from that because of how long we were watching it alongside my group chat friends. A lot of them passed out directly after because we were exhausted from staying up just to watch this whole thing for more possible information, so we're crazy dedicated to this. The voices for adult Kohaku, Hisui, and Takechiyo have been announced. Ryohei Kimura will be the role of Kohaku. Takehiro Irao will be Hisui. I will be Takechiyo. I apologize if I said those names wrong. Here is the translation for Yashahime keyword number 13. Number 13, Shikabane, Dead Body Shop. It is about a shop that trades heads and the remains of yokai. The owner of the shop, Jiobe, hires Moroha and Takechiyo. Moroha works with Takechiyo like it has said in Moroha's early translations that she does work for the shop. It even mentions Jiobe in that translation, so this would be the second time we hear about Jiobe. There's definitely going to be some bounty hunter and demon slayer conflict, which is probably why we see Moroha and Setsuno fighting in the trailer. It would make sense for them to have competition because of their jobs. An idea of what could go down for that fight, Setsuno will say, this is my job to exterminate this demon. We need the parts for our armor and weapons, Moroha will say. It's my prey! We sell the parts! Players could buy the parts from the corpse shop for their armor. Maybe at some point they can agree and collaborate, but I think it would be nice to see them being competitive with one another at first and then come to some sort of an agreement. The corpse parts shop can supply the demon slayers with the material they need for their weapons and armor. They could have some nice sort of trade going on for parts, armor, and weapons. So, Jiube. Who is this guy? Well, I think it's possible that Jiube is the new character we see in the poster. I say that because their clothes are tattered like Moroha's, which gives me the feeling that it's gotta be a signature bounty hunter look for the corpse shop. That's saying if it's not Shippo or another character that we can think of. What do you guys think? I think it's possible that character is Jiobei. I mean, it also could just be some other character that is a traveler based on the attire. Soshi. Soshi, why do you do this every time I try to make a video? I previously stated that I theorized that there could be multiple colored pearls because of the name being Rainbow and because of what was shown to us on the Yashahime website. We have confirmation that there is multiple colored pearls for the Rainbow Pearls. It was stated in the Yashahime keyword. Number 14, Rainbow Colored Pearls, a jewel that enhances the magical power of yokai. It is said that there are seven colored pearls. I know what you're thinking. It's like Dragon Ball or Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, Dragon Ball was also actually inspired by Hakuden, which was a famous Edo-era Japanese novel. Akira Toriyama said that was his inspiration in Dragon Ball, Boken Special. In Hakenden, there was 8, and he didn't want them to be the same exact number, so he had changed it to 7. If you look at the image, they all sparkle the same as Setsuna's eye does from the trailer. The Shikon Jewel sparkles in the same way, as these clearly look a lot like the Shikon Jewel as well. Let's hope that we didn't have 7 priests or priestess have to make these. What? Well, I'm kidding. I previously talked about how Moroha also has a red pearl on or in her shell, and that it could hold memories, or someone is trapped there such as Inuyasha, Kagome, or any of the others, as we know that pearls have to do with memories and portals. However, it's unknown if certain abilities are only exclusive to certain colored pearls, and it's something that I'm looking forward to finding out about. So, we can also take that possibility into consideration that the different colored pearls may do different things as well. Now we can speculate more on all of the colors that could be related to the characters. We know that there are seven colored pearls based on the Yashahime keyword, but on the site, there's also an eighth one that is a black pearl. If we want to see about linking these pearls with the characters, we can base the pearls on color palette and also speculate by using the Inuyasha Cafe pictures. Though some of them are different colored, we can still use this as our map. Inuyasha Cafe was created to celebrate and promote Yashahime. 
so we can use this as a possible idea for speculation on what the colors could represent. I'll put Moroku in between Songo and Shippo, as his colors are in the middle, however, it's more likely that Moroku would be tied with Songo, as we can also speculate if two characters can relate to one girl as well. We can swap some of these around based on the various artworks or even the character color palettes. Such as, Inuyasha's red, Kagome wore green for a lot of the time, Songo wears pink in her Demon Slayer armor, Hirara for yellow, Shippo as blue, Moroku as purple, maybe Sushomaru in the middle. I think it's also a good idea to use the final act's opening as reference as well. Inuyasha would be green, Kagome would be red, Moroku would be yellow, Songo would be blue, and Shippo would be pink. Any of these could be right or wrong. Now, what's interesting is that the official Yashihime website still has an unclickable pearl. It also reminds me like how Setsuna is missing her memories. Gotta wait on that update for us. We can even speculate using the first Yashihime poster. Since Moroha has a red pearl, she's represented by red, that Setsuna is represented by purple, and Toa would be blue. The thing is, the pearl that is currently still unclickable on the website may be the purple or pink pearl. If it's supposed to be purple, which would be like Setsuna's color palette suggests on the first Yashihime poster, though it could just be a pink pearl. We still don't really know if Moroha's pearl is a special pearl or just for decoration. It's up for speculation as of now. Of course, these character colors may have nothing to do with the pearls, but I will say that it's ironic that Moroha does have a red pearl, Inuyasha's color palette being red does match the Inuyasha Cafe art, and, well, he is most known for wearing the red robe of the fire rat. While Moroha's color palette on the poster is also red, we can also speculate that each pearl may simply be a fraction of memories that are missing. These memories may be related to the characters or unrelated to the characters. There's a chance that these pearls could be the other characters' memories besides Setsuna. Could these pearls even hold their souls? More hidden places in these pearls? We do know that Setsuna needs a rainbow pearl to recover her memories. It could be that she just needs one or multiple as each could represent a fraction of her memory. We're getting closer to the air date. Let the anxiety continue. Or you could be excited. Or both. Hosenki's son said it would take him 100 years to create a black pearl. It could be that Hosenki himself made these unless these are newly made experimental pearls that his son made. I wonder how old these actually could be. Hosenki's son did say that his father used all of the pearls before he had passed away, but you never know if there's some secrets none of them knew about. It's possible Jock and Staff could help them find these pearls besides just the black one. The black pearl being the eighth hidden pearl that could lead us to Inuyasha or of course the Inunotesho's grave. It could be that these pearls were not made by either Hosenki or his son. There's always the possibility of these being made by another oyster demon, as there could be others that we don't know about. Their origins are such a mystery, and I can't wait to find out what their history is. I'm guessing the pearl in the middle will be called the white or grey pearl. I'm just saying this based on the website because it shows the darkest colored pearl at the bottom, which we can assume is the black pearl. Unless they decide to call this middle pearl a black pearl as well, but as we know from the information given to us, they will recover Setsuna's memories for sure. These pearls make demons stronger, and I like that they took the idea for the black pearl and made them multicolored, as obtainable items that increase power similar to what we had seen with the Shikon Jewel. I've previously talked about that there's a possibility when all of the colored pearls are collected that they can combine and create one whole rainbow pearl. If the characters are sent to different dimensions in each pearl, I wonder if time passes differently inside of them. It could be that the others would be sealed and perhaps not even age. Someone wanted to know how long I think Yashihime will be? Well, as a season, I guess, would be 24 to 26 episodes. There's a lot of times that we have anime that run on 12 episodes, but since I think Yashihime will do well, around 24 to 26 at least. I also don't think that they will reveal who the mother is of Toa and Setsuruno right away. I think it will be revealed later on, as they want to keep our attention on watching the series. I think it will be very quick for them to finish Yashihime in one season, especially with the idea of collecting seven pearls. So I think that they should do more than one season. Here's to hoping that it will be more than one season, but I still will be content with one season that wraps it up well, because this is an Inuyasha sequel we're talking about. It is a big deal to me. I know it's a big deal to a lot of people. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited or what? October 3rd is coming up fast. He's wee hee. He's wee hee hee. Shamona. Maroha. Maroha.
Myrtle, hee hee. Y'all still going to hell. 